all these uh, all these technical issues, but it's a lot about what you feel, you know, emotions. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember a while ago I described my clients in a, in a general way, and when I said uh, that especially the highly sensitive, highly gifted ones, the twice exceptional, uh, it's a challenge when you probably already know what the, what the other person is going to say, but you're not yeah. always correct. <laughs> and um, that you, uh, you have that, that, that eager, that hunger for um, that urge to, to go in depth. So when, once you have a topic, you really want to dive in, and it could be for months even, just for that topic. Um, also that you want to be uh, with people at times but usually when you do you don't <laughs> then you you already know that um, yeah you, you you're easily uh, bored or annoyed and then you can withdraw so there will be days when you think what is this world I just want to go back into the mountains just stay there I don't need to see anyone yes um, and how how do you combine that with a project like Zephyr? Um, what I would say is that it's it's a lot about, about changes in the intensity. Uh, you know, it's not something that is linear. It's, it's not. You got like. Many, many different moments. So within, within all these moments, uh, you got many times where you, you can be with yourself, like your retreat, inside the timeline. And the retreat can be um, like here, I, I'm, I'm here on, on the spot, uh, uh, spot where we, we will have the trials uh, within a few months, you know, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay, so that's that's the spot, and uh, over there, like uh, two kilometers away, it's uh, it's where we will have the attempt, and uh, Antoine will finish the run just like few a few hundred meters from here. Okay, so that's that's the place, very flat when the wind uh, blows from my back here. Mm -hmm. uh, so a very very specific place. So when you when you when you're in a place like this. Um, you can have moments where you're just by yourself. You can just connect. You can just feel uh, the energy, the emotions. You know, um, I'm very lucky to be to be uh, among the elements. So it's like a, a great source of energy. So on one side, you got these moments where you're totally with yourself, just like like a retreat, even for like ten minutes. It's like a meditation moment. You really uh, on 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 a, on, a, on, a, on another kind of state, and in the meantime, you got all these moments with the pressure, meeting people, doing things, be, being with the media, uh, mm -hmm. where it's very intense. Or when you do some attempts, you got like uh, maybe twenty people you have to to organize in the wind tunnel, um, so it's very intense. So you shift from one to another all the time. So that's what I do. It can be like just five minutes off. And, and how you reconnect to yourself, you're grounded again, you know? Um, if, if you feel that you're not, you're not feeling good, just breathe three times, close your eyes, feel the energy around, and you're, you're back. Like. <laughs> So in these two states, does it answer to your question? These two states switch from one to another. If you're always like uh, under pressure, under stress, um, uh, you're burned out somehow because you're so emotionally involved. You got so many, so many uh, informations stepping in that you need you need this uh, this uh, valve just like uh, to release the pressure. You need to to be with yourself. So that's that's how I do that. Just uh, I really love being just by myself. I need that. 
Yeah. And it's your challenge uh, in life to find that balance between you and the outer world, what's going on? Or is it the actual challenge of um, being focused? Uh, no, both uh, work together, they're combined. It's a combination of both. Um, uh, to be this kind of flow, you don't want to get lost in uh, like fully meditation moments like for, for weeks because things must move on. But it's a kind of balance that you have between, um, between action and being grounded and taking care of yourself. It's a lot, but uh, this balance come from, comes from, uh, from you, you know, inside yourself, your, your ability to, uh, to, be, to be at calm, peaceful, using meditation as a tool, um, just to keep this balance all the time. So this balance is, uh, you need that all the time, really all the time. It's not like uh, I'm pushing, I'm, I'm not balanced, and then I come back to this state later. No. Do your best. I mean, I try to do my best to be balanced all the time, even if it's not easy. No? Yeah. Yeah, like I said, uh, the feeling of gratitude is beautiful, but I don't buy it that there's never a night where you're laying in bed and you don't think, oh, my, what did I do? <laughs> Just <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. at 3 a.m. <laughs> I didn't sleep much last night. I just slept maybe two hours because of many things in my head, and uh, I couldn't find, uh, I couldn't sleep really, you know, um, for many reasons. But but the main thing is to to do your best. Like, no regrets. You make choices. Okay, <laughs> maybe it was not perfect. That's you know, the way it is. Today, I wanted to ask you about your regrets. My regrets? <laughs> no, and now you're starting. Now, uh, you're, you're, now you're doing exactly uh, what we spoke about before, and I need to tackle you. So, what is <laughs> going through your mind at 3 a.m.? Because I just, even when you know what's going on in the... In the um, in a project and you do so many uh, remarkable things and all the information that you have together. But it's also a lot of responsibility. And so when you're laying in bed at 3 a.m., what are you really, really thinking? What's going on in your mind? Um. Um, for me, in, in this case, it, it has a meaning always. If you don't sleep, there's, there, there is a reason why. And what I would say in this case is uh, if I am awake and I can't sleep, I would say it's okay. It means that I... So it's all about relaxing and um, just letting things go like in a kind of meditation state. I switched to a meditation state. When you, you know you're lying on your bed, you feel really good. Um, you don't sleep, but it's okay. You don't sleep for many thousands of reasons in your mind, you know? And um, so you can switch to a kind of meditation state. Your body is relaxing. Uh, so it makes that you're, you didn't really sleep at night, but you're still fresh in the morning, okay? But it's a moment where things go and connections happen in your mind. And it helps you to have a, a, clearer, a clearer view. So I would say it's not very pleasant because you, you would like to really sleep because you're supposed to sleep. But it's very, it's very most of the time it's a very important night. <laughs> like last night was very important. You know, it's about my personal life. It's about like very important things in my life, new balance. 
so you're there you're not sleeping but it's part of the it's part of your life you know you can't you don't have to avoid that just go through it take it as it is it's like a chemical uh chemical action in your in your brain but okay so allow the emotions to flow the feelings maybe tears you're relaxing with i mean your body is relaxing on your bed and you're in this kind of meditation state so <laughs> uh, it's it's a, it's not a bad moment in my case that's how i i can feel that you know yeah, yeah, so you never have a bad moment when you think of all the responsibility that you have on your shoulders in projects every year. None. None. No. Uh, the only bad moments is because of the people, because when you're on such a project, you got you you you're not not every single person is like the top best expert aligned with the project with the understanding everything. So I would say the burden. The main burden that I can have and happens in the project, not not very often, but sometimes, um, is when the, you bring a person in the project, everything is really clear about the mindset. And this person is not really aligned, totally aligned with the mindset. And so you explain, you even coach the person, but the person is not ready. like. It's not for this person, so she's part of the project, but it's something is not aligned. So that's the, that's the worst thing that can happen to me. Like you have someone with you, you're working with, you depend a little bit on the person, and you have to deal with uh, these disalignments or personal problems and things that just like um, go over the, all over the place and impact the others, impact the project. So that's that's for me. It's the most difficult. So how, how do you process that in your highly sensitive brain? How I process that is um, um, so when you're advanced, I mean, it's like almost like you made a mistake. So you, you, you go along with the person. I try to push the person as much as possible to, to shift, you know, in the process but at some point you see that it's not possible you won't make it and you're you have too much dependence on the person or on the company so the next step is to to go away from each other to separate in a very clean way respectful way because we can still help each other in life and in the future uh, even regarding the project Zephia, for example but no conflict uh, in, a, in, a, in a strong way. You just say things, okay, we won't make it, won't work. It's clear for you, it's clear for me. So we need to step out uh, of, this, of this collaboration and uh, in a clean way because I appreciate the person. I always appreciate the person who, who, uh, who steps in because I chose the person, uh, she's a good person and it's just because you're not aligned. But it's okay, it's part of life, you know? It's, a, it's like a mistake, but a mistake that, that still helps each other. Yeah. You know, the person can, could grow because of the experience. On my side, on our side, we could grow as well. And there's always something that is produced that has been, you know, um, uh, brainstormed, things come up. Well, it's still a positive experience. Yeah. Except yeah. that, except that, I can say that uh, that's the main thing. The main thing is about um, uh, someone that is um, that I couldn't bring in fully. You know, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. emotionally. It's very difficult for me. So what happens? I explain to the person once. I explain again a second time, saying it's not what we're supposed to do is not respectful or something's wrong or how can we move on together uh -huh. and then um, what happens within you oh i I'm, I'm i got some kind of i'm patient i'm just explaining that it won't work if we go on this way and if the person is blind at some point i'm like okay now it's over 
it's over. We tried. We did our best. And then afterwards, end of end, end of story. Yeah. Then we just we 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 just we just organize things. Just make sure that everybody is is happy with the with the situation. Uh, well, with highly sensitive people, as you know, um, when things happen, they tend to think about it for a really long time and even months, and then go over it and over it and over it. So, how does it work with you, within your brain? Um. I got signals, you know, again and again and again. I don't feel good. I got some tensions. It takes too much of my mind, you know, because emotions, just like I'm like, I know I won't say that. <laughs> the F word, I'm like, come on. <clears throat> we, we can move on together. But at, at some point, you have to switch the light off. It's like, okay, I have to disengage from... You disengage from the connection and the relationship. You, mm -hmm. you, you go away from your, your, your feelings. And then what happens with, within you? Look, do you have any feelings afterwards of uh, maybe I should do it, uh, should have done it differently, or I feel bad for that person, or I feel compassion, or... No. How many... Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm like, maybe because I'm, 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 I've been preparing this moment and I discussed it many times with the person. Yeah. There are no regrets because everything was discussed and we tried and I'd spent maybe hours with the person just to, to help the person to go to the next step and to be, to be the person we, 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 I, can, I can see within him or within her. So I see the potential, but it's a question of mindset, it's a question of being ready. And at some point, the person is not ready and she cannot. She cannot be ready for the next step. And it's okay. So. Are you saying that because you did everything in your power and you gave that person your attention and you already thought of about it beforehand, so you already had a trajectory for yourself, that it's easier to close that um, disengage your life, yes, and disengage, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't do that, if you're like all of a sudden you got a bad feeling, or you're like and you fly away because you're scared of it, uh, that, that that will be uh, painful, and that will be uh, you be you will be hurt. You will keep uh, this wound for a long time. Because you didn't give a chance to the person to, to, to move forward with you or to understand you or to, to, to go along for, for a ride. Mm -hmm. um, so you, can, you cannot, and it and, and you, 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 and means that you're not available for people around you. If you choose, I mean, that's what people do with their mind. Some top managers, they know, you know, you know they click from one person to another. Okay, just, uh, oh no, you're not good, get out, just get out. And you, okay, let's try, okay, five minutes, or so, no, not, get out. You, next, next, next. And when you do that, it's, it's uh, emotionally, it's, uh, it's awful. And there is no place to, 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 to go along and there is no, you don't listen to the other one. It's only about you because it's about what you want and there's no space for the others to, to adapt themselves to, to the future, to what's going on in your connection and relationship. Mm -hmm. But if you, if you allow the person to step in, you listen to her, you find where could be the connection, because it's not really what you expected, but it's, it might be slightly different and, and so complementary and so great. You need to do this, this step. And if it's not getting along, along very well, can speak about it you can put emotions feelings saying things you know i can feel that you agree with me i can feel that you're at this point you're really you're thinking about something else and i i need you to be present and focus at this very moment it's very important for the project i need that and the person will say yeah yeah okay i understand i know i was not okay once again you said okay you know we spoke about that already 
I can feel that. That's, that's, that's very impactful for all of us. So and there can be anyone, someone who, is, who has a camera, so someone who's a technical advisor, someone who's about the communication, anything. And so, again, you speak about that and you go a little bit deeper and say, what, what's, what's going on? What's, what's behind the scene? Because it's impacting us too much, you know? Yeah. And it's, it's, it's a way of exchanging and, uh, and saying things through, through what you can feel. And most of the time, the person will acknowledge what you're saying because it's so, you're so sharp in what you feel that you can say things with your heart, what you feel within you, and that, that would be really what the person uh, can say, you know? So by doing that, at some point, when you have to separate from someone in your project, it becomes easier because it's, it's more like facts, you know? You switch from emotionally, you can get involved and, and that could be a, a great experience together to something where it's like, okay, we agree on the fact that this, all these things happened. We, we spoke about that many times and we are still not aligned. And it's okay. No problem, you know? Yeah. And then you can close the story and say, see you soon. And most of the people, people are still involved in the project somehow. They will support because it's all about uh, ethics, values, mindset, you know? And it's, it's clean, it's clear. So how are you feeling now? More grounded? Yeah, of course. Look, look at look at my feet. <laughs> That's my position, grounded. <laughs> yes. No, just, I'm just saying that because before we spoke about you running for parliament, <laughs> so avoiding the topic, how you really, really feel. <laughs> so. Yeah. No, I don't know. I, I hope I, I give you some answers, but yeah. connecting with the others having deep emotions and in what you're doing. Um, and by talking with the people with your heart, you can, it helps you so much. When you have to disengage, okay, disengage. It's part of life. You cannot be friend and getting along with every single person on the planet. Of course not. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> so how, how do you do it? Um, because to, I know today is, uh, is a very busy day and uh, you're, you're also testing, I think, today. Yeah, and we do some tests this afternoon, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So now it is uh, 12.30 and um, so lunch break. <laughs> and um, uh, how does it work for you? Because you have such a busy day, then we are meeting up. Uh, we usually have a private conversation first, then the official, and then we go into private <laughs> again. Yes, <laughs> I told you. I mean, you know, this 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 kind of discussion is is a. It's part of this kind of meditation moment where you're with yourself, because of you, Suzanne, and I thank you for that. But you're with yourself, and it's like a, a breathing moment. You know, it's energizing. So I feel very light, very grounded. I feel very cool. Uh, being on the water this afternoon will be fun. At 6 p.m., I got a big interview with uh, Nils Brabant, an international uh, leadership uh, specialist. And we will spoke, speak about uh, sponsorship uh, of Zephyr uh, because all his people are listening to him, to his podcast. Um, so I got like between now and 6 p.m. to be ready for the interview. Um, and we got like two, two hours, two hours on the water. So that would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's not yeah. and focusing on uh, what we try and what we do things like that yeah 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 i was already wondering how does work how does it work for you when we meet up and then you have a lot of other activities to do that day so that's why it's, it's yeah. a very deep breathing moment and it's about sharing my you know we spoke we, we just spoke about my meeting of this morning and we spoke about uh, what will happen this afternoon and we, we spoke about how you separate from people you work with without being like uh, blown away emotionally. Um, so it's, it's, it's sharing about my, my, daily, my daily experience, you know? So it's yeah. nice, <laughs> very lucky. Yeah, okay. Well, thank you very much, Mark.
You're most welcome, Suzanne. It was great. Thank Again. You. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye. Have a great day. Bye-bye.